is up everybody? It's your homeboy Cruising Moto here from Cruising Moto Adventures and today Tim Kreitz, this video is for you buddy. So what is up everybody? It's your homeboy Cruising Moto. We are back and you're wondering why I said this video is for Tim Kreitz. Well he's always lives in Texas and he's all about finding like all this cool western stuff right? Well there is something here in California and it's uh, it's going north towards uh, Vidal Junction or Vidal, California or Vidal, California, however you want to say it. Um, and it is uh, home to one of the most permanent residences that one of the most famous gunslingers ever in the history of Western history ever lived. And I'm going to be showing you guys the house or cottage of Mr. Wider himself. And uh, I'm just about ready to get to pull up to there right now. And uh, I'll show it to you guys. Be right back. What is up everybody? Here we are in Wyatt Earp's house is right over there. And you guys have all heard of Wyatt Earp, right? You know this guy right here? No, I'm just joking. You guys, uh, this is the real Wyatt Earp right here, guys, you know. <laughs> just playing. But yeah, so Wyatt Earp's uh, house is right over there and we're gonna go check it out. This is one of his most permanent residences he's ever had. You know, they've obviously the house, that's not it right there, don't worry. That's probably his old shed or something. But right here, Wyatt Earp's old house. Gunslinger man himself. Let's go ahead and uh, go over here and read this plaque. Wyatt Berry Stapp Earp from 1848 to 1928 and his wife Josephine Sarah Marcus Earp from 1861 to 1944. This is the Earp Cottage in Vidal, California. You know, as they see, they got this all locked off and everything and stuff. And don't worry, I'm sure he didn't have a swamp cooler back in the day. They probably do tours here every once in a while. I'm not sure. That looks, that more looks like his old cottage than anything. But that's, that's all new too. Look, they got some picnic tables. That's pretty cool. But uh, we're going to go here again. The legendary lawman, gunfighter, gambler, businessman, and miner, along with his wife Josephine, inhabited this dream come true cottage from 1925 to 1928 during the fall. Winter and spring months while... Oh, it's a whole sentence. <laughs> so winter and spring months while the whole... While he worked his happy days mines in the Whipple Mountains and few miles north of this site, uh, this is the only permanent residence they owned in their long lives together. It says their ashes are buried in the hills of Eternity Memorial Park, Col Colma, California. Colma, California. This is dedicated April twentieth, two thousand two. Plaque provided by Billy Holcomb, Chapter E, Columbus Vitus. But yeah, so he was obviously he did mining out here in all these mines and stuff. They're old train tracks, you know. This place is this is old. You know, I'd like to go in here, but I want to get in no trouble. I'm sure there's someone that watches this stuff, but I'm sure he didn't have a garage back in the day. You know, they've obviously done a couple things to this thing and, uh, you know, to make it a little nicer. But this is, this is history right here, everybody. Wyatt Earp. Wyatt Earp's only house he's ever really stayed in, you know. So if it'd be cool to look inside, you know, there, you know there's got to be some cool stuff inside the house. You know, things from back in the day and stuff. But yeah, this is the cottage. And then, you know, water tower, all that good junk. Yeah, it was nice. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to... I have some more history. Uh, sorry, I was burping there. <laughs> so I got some more history. I'll read uh, off of my phone here for you guys and show you guys some, some pictures and everything of stuff around here. So uh, we'll be back. My Dream Come True by Mrs. Josephine Earp. The Earps came to Parker, Arizona in 1905. It was the lure of minerals in this area, still officially persona non grata in Arizona, had a warrant for this for his arrest. Earp lived and mined on the California side of the Colorado, 
Colorado River primarily between Vidal and Drennan, which in the 1930s was renamed Earp. White and Josie lived in tent camps and later in this small house in Vidal, California, not far from Parker, Arizona. White and Josie Earp spent their winters in this small cottage from 1917 to 1928. In addition to locating and working his mines, Earp would travel up and down the river for business and gambling. White Earp recorded various claims at the foot of the Whipple Mountains folklore would say his dog, Lucky, who accompanied White on a number of walks found on one of his Lucky Gold Mines. White made use of the winters of his concluded years running these claims in the Mojave Desert and settling with Josie in their Vidal Cottage. He and Josie spent their summer in Los Angeles where they made friends with early Hollywood actors and carried out real estate and mining investments. In July of 1928, White reportedly discovered a very rich vein of gold which he thought might be on tribal land but didn't live long enough to pursue. On January 13, 1929, White Earp passed away in Los Angeles at a ripe age of 80. Cowboy actors Tom Mix and William S. Hart were among the pallbearers. White's cremated ashes were buried in Josie's family parcel in Colma, California, where Josie died in 1944 at the age of 75. She was buried there next to him. Among his lasting legacies, his frontiersman, lawman, gambler, and prospector, the post office near Bahavi Desert Mining Claims down the Colorado River on Route 62 carries the name Earp, California. The town wanted to call itself Wider, but Congress wouldn't allow it as Wyatt made himself a reputation of an outlaw. However, Congress did approve the name Earp. So what is up everybody? I hope you guys all enjoyed this video from Cruising Moto Adventures. And uh, just joking. But yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. Tim, I hope you enjoyed this video. I try to kind of do what your feel to the video like you do in yours because I wanted to, you know, make it like your video. Make it something cool, something a little different for me. You know, um, I know I can't do it quite as good as you probably, you do your videos. You do yours, you do yours very excellent, sir. But uh, this video was for you, Tim. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, sir. Uh, I hope you got a kick out of it. You know, I never thought that this was way out here in the desert, way out here and stuff. So, uh, yeah. So other than that, everybody, as always, love, peace, and chicken grease. Deuces.